stop using Arbalist. Arbalist, the man, the myth, the legend. This weapon has struck fear into champions, bosses, and guardians alike. But now, it is time to lay it to rest. Now, Arbalist is a fan favorite exotic. It was meta for a very long time for three reasons. First of all, as a linear fusion rifle, it provided great damage from a safe range for endgame activities. Second of all, it intrinsically stuns barrier champions. This is great due to the overwhelming majority of endgame activities featuring barrier champions. Third, it instantly removes energy shields from enemies due to its exotic perk. This used to mean a lot when match game existed. Guys, what if I told you there's a weapon that does all this but better? Well, there is. And it's a bow called Wish Ender. There are literally six different reasons why Wish Ender is simply better Arbalist. But let's start first with the raw damage. Now for this test, we purchased two new versions of the weapons from our collections to get them both to the same power level of 1800. Our first test is against a major tier opponent in a Grandmaster Nightfall. As you can see, Wish Ender fires off three arrows per shot. One volley is doing a total of 21,206 damage. Next, we brought in Arbalist. As you can see, one Arbalist shot is doing 54,476 damage. So against Majors, Arbalist does have Wish Ender beat in total damage. However, a while back, Arbalist had its damage nerfed versus bosses and champions. Let's test out the damage there. For this test, we entered a legendary lost sector. Versus the Overload Champion, Arbalist is doing 23,000 damage, while Wish Ender does 22,000 damage. For our final test, we fired off both weapons against a boss. Here, Arbalist did 57,261 damage, while Wish Ender does 41,433. So our verdict here is that against Majors, Arbalist does over double the damage, while versus bosses and champions, Arbalist is just barely beating out Wish Ender. The key factor to keep in mind is that Wish Ender is a primary weapon and Arbalist isn't. This is very important for two reasons, but the relevant one to mention here is that you can use Wish Ender for an entire mission, but with Arbalist you need to conserve your ammo. The beautiful thing about this is that since their damage is so similar, Wish Ender absolutely one-shots every single red bar in the game, including endgame activities. This spamming capability combined with similar damage makes Wish Ender better all by itself, but there's even more that goes into it, so let's continue. The next attribute making Arbalist amazing is its intrinsic anti-barrier. The thing is, Wish Ender also has this trait. On top of that, Wish Ender gives you wall hacks while aiming down sights. These wall hacks prove to be very useful in endgame PvE. You always know the second an enemy is going to peek you, which increases your overall efficiency and output, while reducing the damage that you take. The third attribute that made Arbalist so good was it instantly melting enemy shields. However, this attribute has had its usefulness crept out of the game due to the removal of the match game modifier. Nowadays, all you need is some raw damage to break a shield, and two Wish Ender shots does this job excellently. There are three more reasons Wish Ender is simply better Arbalist. Let's talk about Heavy Ammo Finder. As I'm sure you know, this mod is very useful in endgame PvE, as in an ideal world you always have heavy ammo to melt those champions and bosses. However, Heavy Ammo Finder has a secondary effect, which reads primary ammo weapons, especially exotic, final blows, help you find ammo more quickly. Well, what do you know? Wish Ender is a primary exotic. So on top of everything else, using this bow will grant you more heavy than Arbalist does. Next, let's discuss Wish Ender's exotic perk. This adds two benefits over Arbalist. First of all, the description says arrows pierce shields. This does exactly what you think. Arrows will go through Cabal Legionnaire shields, Scorn shields, and even Hive Knight shields as well. They also over penetrate targets, so if adds are lined up, you can kill two or even three of them all with one shot. Next, let's zoom in on this word, arrows. Each Wish Ender shot fires off a volley of three arrows. This makes Wish Ender more forgiving than Arbalist, as if you miss a little bit, you're very likely to get some damage off where the same can't be said for Arbalist. In conclusion guys, Wish Ender is simply better Arbalist in the current sandbox, so stop using the funny primary linear fusion. We have a more forgiving, shield piercing, 
heavy ammo finding, shield melting, wall hack having, barrier stunning version of Arbalist, and it's called Wish Ender. Go get it, go use it, like what are you doing bro? If this video helped at all, be sure to subscribe as I post Destiny 2 content daily. I have this goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and if everyone watching this subscribed, I could hit it next week, which would be insane. Either way, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.